Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to see working of some push buttons and uh, momentary contacts like that. Fine. So for that, just go to Wizards. In the button option, you can see. Can you see momentary button? And uh, you can see normal button with LED, button with light, set and reset display. And normal round push button. You can see color push button, check box, radio button. So there are so many types of buttons. Okay. So according to the requirement, you can choose whatever you want. So let's take this round push button, round panel push button. I'm taking. Just click it OK and place it. Place it in a page. Fine. So for this, I'm going to take one light. Let's take one circular light and place it over here. So just tag it. Now I'm going to tag switch as a tag. Fine. This one we have already created in the previous session. Just watch out this push button. It is having normal fill color. Zero means red. One means fluorescent. That is fine. Can you see some action over here? In action, it is having six types. One is set, reset, toggle, direct, reverse. So you can able to select the function. Fine. For example, if I choose toggle, okay, I'm I'm preferring the toggle, and just click OK. Go for this lamp and just tag the same tag. Right. Click OK. Go for runtime. Now, since I have given the toggle, if I click, it will on. If I again click, it will off. It is toggling between one and zero, right? This is one and this is zero, right? So this is toggling. This is toggling. And what is this set? Set means only it will turn on. Okay, it will not turn off. Fine. So if you are doing the set function, you need to have one more button for reset. Let's see that. So I am clicking set the option for this button, and I am just clicking OK. Take a copy of this, take a duplicate of this, and keep it over here. Click on this. For this, just click reset. So this one is set. I have done, and this one is reset. Got it? Yeah. Just go for runtime. Now set. See, if I click again, nothing is happening because once it is set means it's set. So for reset, you need to press this reset. This is set. This is reset. Fine. So this is set, reset, and toggle. Three things we have seen, right? And two more are pending. So just delete this one. Go for this, and two more is pending. What is this? Direct and reverse. Fine. So I'll just select the reverse first. I'll select the reverse. Go for OK. Go for runtime. So when you click reverse, initially the push button is in off state, correct? So if you press once, it will go to on. Fine. So we have selected the reverse option. When I go for the runtime, it is in a off condition. If I press, it went to on. If I again press, it acts like a push button. See? In the main condition is one. If I press, it will go to zero. If I release, it will come back to its one. So this is the reverse option. Fine. See. So I'll go to the development page. I'll come again. It is maintaining the previous state. Okay. So for this, just take one more option as direct. So let's see what exactly the direct is going to do. So direct means go for runtime. Can you see? Since I have selected direct, it is in a on condition. If I press, it will go to off condition. If I again press, it is like a momentary. It acts like momentary. Okay. So this is direct and reverse. I'll take one more new button. And I'll tell both. Okay. 
so take this keep it over here make it bit big take a duplicate of this fine so take a duplicate of this lamp i'm going to create this is our switch i have selected reverse for this our first one is direct let it be direct and for this already switch is there and for this one i'm going to select one more tag sw1 and i'm giving reverse for this okay and for this i'm just going to give sw1 fine so this one is direct this one is reverse so since i have given direct to this it is in off state and this is in on state so this is direct and this is in this is reverse i'll just type here direct so that you can see the difference what is this direct and reverse what it is exactly doing and all yeah so go for run time so since it is a initial condition okay direct reverse fine just a minute yeah here i have selected reverse here i have selected direct got it so remaining or not for this it's a different uh, tag and this is a different tag just go for online first for direct i'm making this to yeah so it acts like push button now and for this can you see can you see the difference the reverse means it is maintaining the one state okay direct means it is maintaining the zero state and if i press it will go to one and reverse means if i press it will go to the zero to one okay so direct and reverse is depending upon what it is exactly maintaining direct is maintaining zero and reverse is maintaining one if i press it will go to zero if i press it will go to one there is a difference between direct and reverse so one more thing is there that is equivalent switch is equivalent key equivalent so for that i'll take some one more switch one more button i'll keep it over here okay just delete these two since we have seen the topic okay take a duplicate of this fine so i'm going to give switch for this same tag switch keep it as a switch and this is also switch okay and i'm going to delete this one yeah this is switch fine so all the three parameters are switch now what is this key equivalent means for example take the button make this as set okay and there is a option called key equivalent here if you press key equivalent here you are having some options like control shift and some keys so now i'm just going to select a key like uh, f1 i'll select just f1 so what exactly key equivalent will do when you go to, go to run time so if you want to press you will be keeping the cursor over there and you will be pressing that right so ap apart from that we are having one more option when you go to online just press f1 automatically the button will get set so it's like a shortcut okay so for set option i'm gi giving f1 so take this button and take this as reset and key equivalent i'm taking some f2 okay so for reset f2 for set it is f1 right so just go to online okay see my cursor is here i am not keeping over here okay my cursor is here press f1 automatically it is on press f2 it is off see my i am not doing over here right so what what if if i do this this is also work this is set this is reset apart from that shortcut is also there that is f1 for set and f2 for reset and the and the key equivalent option you can select see control option is also there shift is also there for example if you select this if you select control plus f1 then in online 
in run time if you press f1 nothing will happen if you need to press control plus f1 okay now normal f2 so for on i have set control plus f1 so for off i just given f2 right so th like this you can get key equivalent also so there are there so many uh, features are there according to the requirement you can choose however you want fine so you are having you know few more buttons are also there see button with led button with light so just try out this in the software so same button with led i'll just show you that so make the same tag switch i'm giving here also set reset toggle everything is here okay so now it is toggling fine go for online okay see if you press it is giving the color indication okay if you press it again there is no color indication so this color indication you can choose here can you see so i'll make this to fluorescent color and for zero i'm just giving red color okay so i have given the toggle option here okay so that's what you can able to do both on and off see now it is red color zero if i turn on it is in green color right so it is like a led indicator indication button so that you can get to know by seeing this whether it is on or off and this text also you can change fine so according to the requirement you can customize the inputs fine so just practice this in the software i'll meet you in the next session with another interesting topic bye